The growth of computer and internet usage provides investigators with another method in fighting crime, an emerging science called computer forensics. What that is, is going into the computer hard drive and capturing uh, bits of information where the user of the computer may have believed it was erased. Programming and forensic tools is able to extract that information. In the William McGuire murder investigation, authorities gain access to the home computer of lead suspect and wife, Melanie McGuire. We had obtained a search warrant to get the computer from her attorney. Then it was brought over to the New Jersey State Police Forensic Center. Computers are designed to store information in multiple places. So when a file is deleted, it still exists elsewhere in the hard drive. Computers also leave behind remnants of deleted files, which analysts can use to re-image documents once thought to be gone. From the McGuire home computer, someone was Googling undetectable poisons, how to commit a murder, how to buy a gun in Pennsylvania. Undetectable poisons led to searches of different drugs, which included chloral hydrate. A locator was done on where to find chloral hydrate and brought us to Walgreens which helped us narrow our search of where to look for this prescription. Sure enough, a phony prescription is traced to a nearby drugstore. Investigators keep digging into the life and computer habits of Melanie McGuire. Those searches were being done at the same time that the defendant was emailing a very close friend of hers, asking information about how to purchase a gun. Next, Internet searches find a Pennsylvania store where Melanie McGuire bought a 38 caliber gun and bullets, just like the ones that killed her husband, William. What the computer forensics told us was this was no accident. This was something that was meticulously planned. Using information retrieved from their home computer and the leads it produced, Melanie McGuire is found guilty of four charges including first-degree murder. The computer forensics in, in this case played a very important role. If you look at the internet history, you could almost see what a person is thinking and what is this person about. The computer could tell you an awful lot. And unless someone highly skilled in computers takes measures to cover all their tracks, a home computer will continue to hold the secrets of the user long after they've walked away. It's the same reason that when, you know, you recover the piece of flesh, you don't stop it saying it's just a piece of flesh. You do the DNA. It's no different with a computer. What's on the surface is just what's on the surface. Sometimes what people are trying to hide is more significant than what they're trying to show you.